Hi, Jules here and I'm going to show you a quick facial with the Nils Yard Beautiful Organic products. Okay, so blue bottles at the ready. We're going to start with the uh, Wild Rose Balm as a cleanser. So this is a great one just to remove dead skin but also get rid of all that grime and dirt from the day. Okay, it's a nice um, Sunday routine I always think this one. So just massaging that around to release all those beautiful fragrances of the wild rose. Okay, just give that a rub in around the nose area as well, get all those uh, impurities out there. Okay, and once that's done, let's get our hot mitt and just remove um, that cleanser. Okay. Ooh, I do like a hot mitt. Beautiful. Your skin should feel so nice and clean just from that cleanse. It's good, good way of uh, removing it, all that dirt. Okay, so next we're going to take the Rehydrating Rose Polish. Now this is a beautiful product as well. Um, it's a lovely, gentle exfoliator with rose seeds in there. So they're really good as the exfoliating part. No nasties in here, none of the microbeads go. Neil's Yard and Greenpeace did protest against getting rid of them and that has worked. So it's all natural product, which is beautiful. So your exfoliator, exfoliating all that dead skin off there. You should feel that your skin is tingling, mine is, and that's a good thing. Don't think, oh my god, I'm having a massive reaction to products. It's not. It's just your skin going, wow, what's going on? And it's just getting rid of all that dead surface skin. So you should feel even more cleaner now. Okay, next we're going to put a mask on. So this is a rose formula mask. It's an antioxidant facial mask. It's fantastic for brightening the skin and just nutrients back in again, like most of these products. Okay, so just apply that around the T-zone area. So that's forehead, nose, and into the chin, because they're always our problem areas. And I always apply this around the eyes. I don't go too close to the eyes. In fact, you can apply it to wherever you want to. Some people just do it to their T-zone area because that's the one that kind of needs the most uh, nutrients. But this is really good for brightening the skin as well. So a nice facial. Okay, give that a nice rub in as well. You can feel it. When you're putting these products on, you can really feel them kind of working into your skin. So that's your mask. You'd leave that for about 20 minutes or more. I'm going to remove it now just because of the video timings. And I'll just give that a wipe off. So your mask, once a week, I would say exfoliate and mask. It's the best thing to do for your skin to keep it really nice. Great conditioner for your skin, getting rid of the dead skin that we don't need at all. Next thing is your toner. So I've got my lovely rose toner again. This is the Neil's Yard Rehydrating Rose. Pop it onto a damp cotton wool and again this seals in and takes out all that badness, badness, all that like muck that's left in the pores, all the excess mask, everything on there. And then last thing you would need is of course your beauty sleep concentrate. Okay, so you can either pop this on or you can use the Neil's Yard Balm and leave the massage oil on as well. And just give your skin a really nice massage in. Oh, great. So it's your choice. You might be going out, you might want to kind of do a, a day facial. So put your day cream on. Um, or if you wanted an extra treat, I would definitely be using the Wild Rose Balm um, just to really give you some nice uh, dewiness to the skin. Lips and eyebrows done. Enjoy your day. Hope you enjoyed the facial.